Happy Friday morning, November 15th, the pre-weekend. God is so worthy to be praised yet again. Do you have a lot of work to do? Are you feeling weak? Even before the official weekend happens, like Saturday and Sunday, do you have a checklist of items that you need to accomplish? Some mandatory projects or maybe just some, you know, small tasks. Well, in Ezra 5, talking about the folks who were rebuilding the temple in Jerusalem, and in verse 2, the prophets, the leaders, it says, prophets of God were helping them. Yeah, sometimes you have to get people alongside to just assist, and God will send them. Yes, he will. It says in verse 5, But the eye of their God was upon the elders of the Jews, that they could not cause them to cease. Right? They could not. The people who were questioning them, Why are y'all doing this? Mm -mm. Even their questions or their suspicions or inquiries couldn't stop the work. And in verse 7, there was a letter written and unto Darius the king, and I'm going to start using this. He said, all peace. All peace. And people are asking you today, how are you doing in the midst of everything you have to do? Just say, a lot of us say all is well. But I'm going to say just two words, all peace. Amen. And in verse 8, be it known unto the king that we went into the province of Judea to the house of the great God, which is built with great stones and timber, is laid in the walls, and this work goeth fast on. They are working hard and prospereth in their hands. Don't you want the Lord to multiply your efforts? Right? I always say, yeah. I say to my son, don't try to do this on your own. You better take God's strength. Hey Amen. His grace is more than sufficient. For in our puny weakness... His power is perfected. Oh, that takes me to 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Right? When we feel like we are overwhelmed, this says that most gladly, Paul is speaking, therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities, in my weaknesses, when I can't do it myself. Hallelujah. That the power of Christ is may rest upon me. That's a testimony for everybody to see. And now, therefore, we can cheer, we can boldly boast and brag when we have infirmities, when we have like, oh my goodness, exasperations, when we have reproaches, when people are talking about us and insulting us, when we have necessities, when we have needs that like, oh, where is this going to come from? God will supply. Hallelujah. When we have persecutions and distresses and difficulties. Why? Because it's for Christ's sake. And we know when we are weak, hallelujah, we are strong as dynamite. So let's not try to do it ourselves. Because God is more than able to accomplish his work. Because today is November 15th, we went over Psalms 15 and... What's that? 45 and 75. And we are reminded in Psalm 75, even though we're working hard at our job, know that promotion comes from who? Our Father in heaven. He'll put someone else down and he'll raise us up, but in his timing and according to his will. For he is the judge. Yep. So we don't look in the east and the west and the north and the south. No, promotion comes from the Lord. And in the meantime, while we're working, Psalms 105, we give thanks unto the Lord. And we call upon his name when we're feeling like, oh my goodness, how can I do this? He will give us his strength. He will give us his grace. And that is his kindness. He wants to do that. And in the meantime, make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing songs. Hum unto him while you're working. Talk ye all of his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek him. Seek the Lord forevermore and his strength. Not our puny strength, y'all, because we can't do anything. And also in Psalms 135, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name because he is the one who is worthy 
always and forever. So be encouraged. Remember the people in Jerusalem when they went back from captivity, they had a work to do. There were a lot of people questioning them, but they got a lot of assistance and they looked to the God. They looked to the hills, which came their help. Their help was from the Lord. And guess what? He's the same source today in this century. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful day basking in the Lord's faithfulness and uh, know that he will give his strength for your weakness. Enjoy.